Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Scraps and Logos of Britain. Each week, we'll take a look at a steam locomotive class did not make it into preservation. All of these locomotives will be standard gauge and be owned by a pre-grouping railway company, one of the big four railway companies, and or British Railways. While some will get new build members of their class, most of these will be scrapped and likely remain scrapped. Here we go. Western enthusiasts, prepare to be excited, or angered, because today we will be looking at the Churchward County 440s. Now, actually, if you're not excited about this, then you have plenty of good reason to say that. You're probably going to be, many of you are probably going to be saying that this be saying that the Churchward counties were bad locomotives and you're at least somewhat right they were controversial locomotives but they but their history and their design grab my interest every time that I see one of these anyway let's get on with the show in 1871 the London and Northwestern Railway and the Great Western Railway opened a joint line between Shrewsbury and Hereford, but the line would later extend to Bristol. The Great Western would be responsible for the rolling stock and the locomotives, whilst the London and Northwestern Railway would handle the infrastructure. In 1902, George Jackson Churchward introduced his 2900 class 460s, known as Saints. These were designed to work express passenger trains all over the Great Western Network. However, the London and Northwestern Railway banned the Saints from being used on the lines from Shrewsbury to Hereford. Churchward, not wanting to be let down by Francis Webb, London and Northwestern's locomotive superintendent, simply took the design of the Saints and shrunk it down to a 440 to produce to produce a much smaller class that had still had plenty of power in reserve so that it could work on other parts of the network. The Churchward counties, as they were known, had a had the same 18 by 30 inch cylinders and six foot eight and a half inch driving wheels as the Saints. However, the boiler was the 200 PSI Swinney number four type as used on other 440s, most notably the, the cities, as well as being used on the Aberdeer class 260 moguls. Their tractive effort was 20,527 pounds. When it ca- compared to other 440s, the counties had more power than the cities, but less than the Bulldogs. The first member, number 3473, County of Middlesex, appeared in May 1904, 11 months after Webb had retired from the London Northwestern Railway. After a few months of testing, the next nine locomotives, number 3474 to 3842, were also produced at Swindon that August and that October. Two years later, between October and December 1906, 20 more counties had been produced. Number 3801 to 3820. Like the, like the other 10 locomotives, these were originally built with straight frames. However, they were later rebuilt with curved frames. And in later years, the, the 
the first 10 locomotives of this class were also rebuilt with the curved frames. In November 1907, number 3805 County Cary was rebuilt with a Swindon number no. 2 boiler, the same boiler used on the Bulldogs. However, in later hover May 1909, she was rebuilt back with her original boiler. That same year, the counties received superheating, and in 1912, 1911, received top beads. The final batch of 10 locomotives built between December of 1911 and February 1912 were built with all these modifications from new and were numbered 3821 to 3830. The frames, the cab, and, and the boiler were all used on the, the 4300 class 260 moguls which were being introduced on this which were being introduced at the same time that the last batch of counties had been had rolled off the production line at Swindon. Then in 1912, the Great Western Ritter decided that they needed an upgrade to their numbering system as, a, as many locomotives had uh, different numbers but to their classmates. Number 3473, County of Middlesex, was renumbered 3800, whilst the whilst the, the other nine that followed after her were renumbered 3821 to 3839. Unfortunately, though, the counties were initially disliked. For for a few reasons, the first reason was the rough run quality. The next reason was their wheelbase, is which caused which what caused this, as the counties had a wheelbase of eight feet six inches and on their driving wheels, but a total wheelbase of 24 feet. Their cylinder stroke was also a factor in not only either rough ride quality, but there's the, the, also their large hammer blow. All previous Great Western 440s had double frames and inside cylinders with a stroke no greater than 26 inches. And when compared with the, uh, one of the most notable classes, the cities, had a hammer blow of 3.6 tons at six revolutions per second, to give you an example. And another example, the much larger counterparts, the Saints, had a hammer blow of 6.4 tons at 6 revolutions per second, whilst the counties had 8 tons of hammer blow at 6 revolutions per second. And according to Sir William Stanier, Churchill was not going to be instructed by Webb, the locomotive superintendent of the LNWR, and designed an engine that had plenty of power to run in service but which had a wheel a front end too powerful for the wheelbase. Their axe loading was also w great. It was also very large, at 18 tons, 300 weight, preventing them from being used on particular lines. Whilst the and until 1927. 
the counties were listed as the heaviest mass-produced locomotives on the GWR. Er, record that was stolen ultimately by the Great Western Kings. However, the class wasn't all that bad. Despite the, despite these, these issues, despite these issues, they were still capable locomotives, often deputizing for er, stars on express trains between er, around Paddington. They also worked express trains, milk trains, and mail trains around. Around Banbury, Reading, Swindon, Oxford, Bristol, and on the line between Shrewsbury and Hereford, where it was claimed that they could reach over 80 miles an hour. However, after the introduction of the castles in 1923, the counties were bumped onto secondary duties and as pilots over the South Devon banks. They also occasionally worked fast freights, although their large driving wheels meant that they were unsuitable for or most freight trains. In a, in a move to rebalance some of the class, three members were coupled from the, from the former tender of the Great Bear, which had been withdrawn in 1924 and rebuilt as a castle named Viscount Churchill. The tender was also used on two Great Western Saints and a few castles, and a few stars as well. However, after the introduction of the halls and the, and the moguls being also moved onto secondary duties, counties' days counties' days were now numbered. The first withdrawal was number thirty-eight, thirty-three, county. Yeah, uh, county of. Of Dorset in February 1930 from Swindon, and the last to be withdrawn was number 3834, County of Somerset, from Tisley in November 1933. Whilst none of the Churchward County survived into preservation, the Great Western Society at Didcot had set up the Churchward County Trust in 2005 and said about uh, their goal is to re is to build a new county number, thir uh, number 3840 County of Montgomery the boiler will come from 5205 class 280 tank number 5227 from the Barry 10 whilst the drawings were based on those from the new built saint Number 299, Lady of Legend. The group also acquired the chimney from Hall, number 4953, Pitchford Hall. It is expected that the County of Montgomery will steam between either 2028 or the latest 2023. This series was inspired by Locomotives of Great Britain by Rail, Air, Land, and Sea. A link to his channel and the Churchward County Trust are both in the description below. If you haven't seen the first two episodes of the series, feel free to check them out when you get the chance. If you would like to suggest a class of steam locomotives that is from the UK and is extinct, then feel free to do so in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Goodbye!